Hi, I'm Jeff Wong, EY's Global Chief Innovation Officer. At EY, we believe that technology can help unlock human potential, but it's important to develop sound, unbiased AI that people can trust. Today, I'll be talking about how we can accomplish this with several of my fellow colleagues from AI for All's advisory board. It is super critical that at this time, uh, we use the technology that we have at our fingertips and the information to really gather all this amazing talent and brilliance to solving problems that are urgent and are actually helping people's lives get better. We have never been better at thinking more about how more people in the world can contribute to the technology that they use every day. Some of the biggest opportunities that I see to use AI for good are looking at literally every major problem and challenge that may seem unhackable in society, whether that's workforce issues, whether that's food deserts, innovation deserts, learning, water, you name it. AI, the term, can be so intimidating for people. Uh, even if you're an expert, you feel like you always need to be learning the next new thing. Fundamentally, there's just not enough everyday people walking, you know, and moving around in society that really know and understand what artificial intelligence is. I think trust and diversity, having a wider set of people um, looking at the data, the type of data, bias in data, all of these things are really essential for, um, for big companies. To build trust, we gotta bring everybody. It's about time that we, are, that we look at AI from an ecosystem perspective. There's a lot of bias, um, and unfortunately, if you don't have the, the representative voices that are representative of the community that's trying to use it, you're gonna have limited technology. Being able to have that diverse lens of designers, creators, testers, implementers, and also the customer base is super important. It's really our responsibility and our duty to make sure that the tools and the AI and the software that we create that is so ingrained in these tools um, is open and reflects all of society. There's an opportunity there on access. There's an opportunity there on why we're using it and how do we design it. But ultimately, how can we improve people's lives? I'm just really passionate about being able to create pathways into that. Um, and AI for All is a great example. We see that in some of our major tech hubs around the world, how we're doing brilliant things, but it seems to be driving certain communities out and not being you know, inclusive of, of everyone. It impacts our voice, it impacts our politics, it impacts our health, education, and, and really everything, right? It's really critical that we make tools so that anybody can create an AI solution. Um, that just ensures that the things that we do with these AI tools will impact more people in the right ways. And I think that's how we create a collective good, is humans and machines working hand in hand to solve these problems in a new economy. <laughs>